Hi guys, Dr. Hampton here with Amanda Decker, who was my guest on my Protecting Your Nest podcast, episode number 41, where we talked about why and how she helps her patients achieve metabolic health. I will have a link, of course, to that episode in the show notes to this video. Amanda wanted to come and share reasons why industrialized oils can have a negative impact on your health. So Amanda, you have done a ton of education around keto and metabolic health, and I appreciate that. So tell me, what's your thoughts about industrial oils and the negative impact they can have? Yeah, so when I first started um, learning about industrialized oils, I went back and looked at some epidemiological graphs. And so basically, when I started to realize that these oils were a big problem, is when I saw that the rise of industrialized oils in our country and the rise of obesity have a direct correlation. And you and I both know correlation is not causation, but this is a pretty big correlation that's there. And we also see it in uh, other countries. As other countries become more Americanized and start using these oils, their obesity rates follow in that same correlation that ours have. So when you look at these oils, first I want to point out is they're not natural oils. So these oils are things that came from products that did not naturally have an oily base to them. And we had to industrialize the heck out of them just to produce some sort of substance that you could use to cook with and ingest and digest and things like that. Um, So they're not natural. Compare that to something like olive oil, coconut oil, avocado oil. We basically just squeeze the oil out of those. They're much more natural. And I think the human body is more designed to handle natural substance as opposed to things that are unnatural. But when we're looking specifically at these oils, uh, what they do when we consume them is they go through this oxidation process. And oxidation is generally not a good thing. Think of it when you're talking about iron or metal oxidizing and it turns into rust or things harden when they oxidize. Well, that same process happens in the body, specifically, you know, in our fat cells too. So we consume these oils and these fats, they oxidize oxidize and those fat cells become more insulin resistant. And when they become more insulin resistant, they don't respond to insulin as well and our insulin levels go up. Insulin's a growth hormone, so the more insulin we got, the more likely we are to be storing body fat. Also, it makes it harder for us to access that body fat to get that body fat back down. So I like to think of it as you got rocks in your fat cells and you got to get chisels to get them back out if you're going to be eating things like that. So when I'm talking to my patients and saying, let's go back to natural things. Let's get rid of these oils that are not natural for our body so that our insulin levels can get back down. We can access those fat cells. We can uh, burn our body fat for fuel. And, you know, natural is always better. I also think that these oils also cause inflammation in our body and irritate the gut too. Uh, and so we see when we start pulling these oils out of the diet, the gut's able to calm down and be more healthy. And a good gut is a good life. Yes, that's that's what it's all about. And I, I you know, although we have to be careful when we hear the word natural on labels. Yeah, that is uh, true. But we do want to yeah, be cautious there, but but I do appreciate this. And what, what I've learned when we did our healthy living event uh, with an advocate Aurora, and I helped lead that with Dr. Katina Hope, and we had these uh, Dixie Jarrett and other team members. What we did is we came up with the Boca mnemonic, which means mouth in Spanish, and butter, olive oil, coconut oil, avocado oil. But always remember, guys who are listening, animal fats are great oils too. So uh, don't be afraid of the uh, beef tallow and lards and things like that. Those are great oils too. And I just love that you, your education has guided you to these principles. So thank you, Amanda, for those insights. And uh, who would have known that oils and a lot of these seed oils, uh, and they Imagine taking a seed and making an oil out of it is not a good thing what they have to do to process it. So, so guys, if you like what Amanda had to say, I want you to check out podcast episode uh, number 41. And, and she shared even more great advice during our podcast episode. Make sure to like and subscribe, comment. And of course, until we see each other again, be safe, be well, and continue to protect your nest. Thank you, Amanda. Thank you.